Teresa Gwen, I want to do right by both of you. But if I were like my father, I would have married you, Gwen, and, and I would have taken Teresa as a mistress. Not that you would have stood for it. Yeah, right. Something in me refuses to be like my father. Maybe it's my mother's genes driving me. What about those papers I found, Mama? They prove that Ethan is Sam Bennett's son. Ethan, what if you weren't a crane? Where did that come from? Teresa, why did you say that? just trying to confuse the issue. You are a, a crane through and through. You're heir to your family's empire. You're the man I have loved and dreamed of marrying my whole life. And in spite of everything, I still do. Oh, good job, Gwen. The perfect blend between passion and pleading. You know, Gwen's right about me being a crane. I mean, it's who I am. It's how I see the world. I mean, I don't approve of a thing my father says or does. But I, well, I'm a crane and I'm proud of. And you should be. Even the cranes are a great family. And they're respected and admired throughout the world. I mean, people would give anything, do anything to become a crane. I mean, you know that more than anyone, don't you, Teresa? I mean, you've done everything you possibly could to snag Ethan. Careful, Gwen. You want to keep Ethan feeling sorry for you. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to, to attack Teresa like that, Ethan. I'm just so upset. I, I, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I mean, the only thing that I am sure of is that I love you, Ethan. And if I don't become your wife, I'll just die. <laughs> oh. And the Oscar goes to...